let's dive in with the first one. Have a flexible file structure. So there are a lot of ways to set up and organize your files in Figma. And they all have their own pros and cons. But let's take a look at a few quick examples. So first we have the basic system where components, icons, and styles, and designs all live inside of one Figma file. And this can be great for small, nimble teams, but there's really not much room to grow or evolve. And then next, we have the simple system, where all components, icons, and styles live in one file that's published as a team library. And then all design work lives in one or multiple other files. And this can also be great for small teams. There is more room to grow, but there's still not much room to evolve your system. Which brings me to the last structure, a dynamic system, where components, icons, and styles are split up into multiple files, which are all published as team libraries. And then all design work lives in multiple other files. And this is what I recommend for most teams because there's unlimited room to grow and evolve. And with a structure like this, you can support multiple themes, product areas, operating systems, so on and so forth, because it allows designers to cherry pick the exact parts of a system they need for any given file, rather than being forced to choose between all or nothing. Let's go over a quick example of how a system like this might evolve. So let's say you have a team with both a web app and a marketing site. And both products share libraries sitting at the top of the design system tree. They can share the style library as well as the icon library to maintain consistent branding. However, they both need very different components. So it doesn't make sense for them to share a component library. So instead, what they can do is they can each have their own dedicated component library and only give their design files access to the component library they need. So for example, when a designer is working on the marketing site, they can access all the global styles and icons in addition to the marketing specific components they need without having to sift through all the components for the web app over here. And the same structure can be used for a product supporting multiple systems like iOS and Android, or maybe a front and back facing UI. Sort of like how Uber has one side for the rider and the other side for the driver. So it might look like more work because you have more files, but it really isn't. You're still building out all the same things in a dynamic system, but their separation gives designers access to only the things they need and none of the things they don't, reducing the number of decisions that designers have to make each day. And I highly recommend this file structure for almost every team as it really does ensure good user experience for your designers long-term, no matter how your system evolves.